Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kastler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we're going to be talking about a problem that people in certain parts of the country have. Um, much of the summer, let's get into the point where it's much of the year, and that's lightning. And uh, I, I used to live in uh, Tampa, Florida, the lightning capital of the world. Uh, so I know very much uh, what an issue this can be. Throughout the south, the east coast, uh, certain parts of the time in the west, um, you get uh, uh, quite a bit of uh, lightning. Um, this question is from Pierre Vachon, KM4WSJ. He says, hi Dave, I live in Florida and am disconnecting my antennas at least once a day in the summer due to lightning. I was wondering if you could recommend a homebrew antenna uh, design that I could build as a second antenna I could use from indoors and could switch from the outdoor to the indoor antenna during thunderstorms. I hate being disconnected for hours at a time until the storm passes while the other side of town is not being affected and I am sure that I could reach the repeaters. I'm looking for two meters and, and 440. So um, I think Pierre is a technician and he's very active in what's going on in Tampa. I used to be a member of the Tampa Radio Club myself when I was stationed at uh, um, the Air Force Base there in Tampa, McDill and I would go to the meetings. It was a very active club. They even at that point had their own building with a station in it, their own station in it for club people to use. It used to be years ago that there were quite a few people who were hams but uh, didn't have the money for the equipment. And so one of the reasons that there were clubs was to have a club station so that those members who didn't have stations could sign up for time and, and go down there and operate uh, on the radio. It was also a great hangout kind of place. So uh, let's take a look at it. Well, are there antennas you can use indoors? Uh, absolutely, there are. Let's look at one here. This is a uh, roll-up dipole. This right here is um, manufactured and available over the web. SO239, a little bit of coax here, and then it connects to the twin feed, twin lead right here. Now actually the short is here and then the feed to the twin lead is in here. And then halfway up there are some uh, connectors uh, inside here and some circuitry that allow this to operate not only two meters but uh, 440. Unfortunately I didn't keep the manufacturer's name uh, here. There is another manufacturer called Ed Fong. Ed that's the name and F-O-N-G is the last name. Look him up on the internet he sells all kinds of uh, two meter and 440 antennas, and you can get something just like that for not very much money. Now for this one, I'm going to have to back up a little bit. This is a J-pole. It's a regular size J-pole, okay? And you say, well, normally this is an outdoor antenna, okay? Uh, but there's nothing to say that you can't attach the coax here and then lean this in a corner, any corner. Don't want your kids touching it while you're operating it, but it would work uh, just fine for that, just fine. Um, and leave it operating in a corner, vertically positioned, vertically positioned, okay, because it's vertical polarization, or if you have enough room in your attic, although I wouldn't do that during a thunderstorm. Uh, the best thing to do is if you're not actually using your station is if you use a, a switch for your antennas like this one. Use a switch like this one. 
this right here has a little arc plug in it for uh, surge protection. You can ground it to your ground and uh, and then turn it to the the uh, off switch. If you do this, all the other ones are grounded. Okay, so um, you could use this uh, as some sort of surge protection inside the house if you wanted to. It's a nice little uh, piece of uh, kit there. Uh, you can, of course, make your own um, vertical. Um, you could make a collinear dipole and hang it vertically, or you could uh, use some um, coat hanger wire and make yourself a classic vertical uh, that's got some, with an SO239, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like here. Um, you've got a piece of vertical that is 19 inches long going into an SO239. Um, now, it's coming out of the SO239. There's four plug holes, so you can put four radials, each 19 inches, bent down about... Uh, 30 degrees something like that and then just took that someplace you can hang it with a piece of string from the from the ceiling in a place where it won't get in the way be sure to put uh, wire nuts over the ends uh, as uh, eye protection uh, for people so there you have it I, I hope that gives you a little bit of help on uh, some way to put together some simple indoor antennas in the case that your rubber duck does not work, which uh, rubber ducks are uh, <laughs> definitely compromised antennas, way compromised antennas. I want to introduce a new feature of this channel. My study is filled with books and gadgets I've accumulated from having this channel, and it's time to thin the herd, so to speak. I'm announcing my first giveaway to hams in the USA. The item to be given away this time is a book called Novel Antennas from the Radio Society of Great Britain. I think I picked it up at Dayton. Uh, here's how the giveaway works. It's totally free to you. Send a postcard, QSL card, or simple one-page letter by snail mail to P.O. Box 98, Ridgeway, Colorado, 81432. On whatever you send, make sure to include the giveaway number, in this case, number one. Please include your phone number in case I have questions. Please, nothing else. Though, if you want to send a picture of you and your station, I may be able to show these during the live stream. Electronic submissions will not be accepted. The drawing will take place on the live stream held on Thursday evening, U.S. time, on August 26th. Note that I pay the book shipping, so it's all totally free for you. I hope to do something like this every month. Note that after the drawing, um, and this is what I've gotten so far, quite a few so far, um, after the drawing... All entries will be discarded, and no information will be kept or transcribed. So there you have it. If you would like to help support this channel, you may do so by going to dcastler.com support and picking a way that you find most helpful. Please also subscribe and click the bell and click like, and don't forget to comment. Until we next meet, 73.